Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Castle Redux in which we're playing as everyone's favorite nation in the world, America. But led by John N. Gardner and his inauguration today. John N. Gardner has been sworn in as the 31st president of America. Gardner's speech spoke about how we must not compromise over our democratic values with radicals left or right. Gardner was quoted as saying we are in a tough-minded recognition that the fight for a better America is a long one. On the economy, Gardner has promised reform through personal sacrifice and austerity, as was done after, his, after the panic in 1893. Gardner enters the White House surrounded by hostile AFP and SBA senators, as well as the wary Republicans. They always assure the public that the longest and the unionists will tire themselves up before the end of the year. God save America. We've got to act quickly. But we also must continue with uh, some lag. Look, Hacks Jack. The traditional Democrats have come to power under John S. Gardner with the promise of stabilizing the American Republic, while opposing the radicals' demands which would change American, uh, America forever. So to defend the Constitution and liberty at all costs, followed up with smash radicals. Well, not given to those who threaten to subvert American democracy for their own interests, MacArthur has offered to stomp them out if given the chance, and we will allow him to organize his military and gather intel for the mission. The only question is whom to focus and how much so. So with this path, we want to avoid the Civil War. So, avoid the Civil War, thank you very much, with Gardner, of course, for Gardner. We gotta smash radicals first. I'm giving them the chance to pick Marshall's plan for dealing with the unrest where you mainly occupy the city areas and put some troops elsewhere. Cool. So basically, pick Marshall's plan and when you deal with the unrest, when you mainly occupy the city areas, but put some troops elsewhere else. Cool. Undermine the populists. Sweep away tariffs, yeah. Ah, they announced a hard line. President John S. Garden today announced that a hard line will be taken against the SBA strikers and indeed any against against any extremist force that seeks to further destabilize America. He has ordered all riders in the steel belt to return home and likewise for all AFP Minutemen and ODP militants to stand down before any military action is taken. All SBA, AFP, and OD, ODP senators walked out of Capitol Hill to the jurors of the Republican and Democratic colleagues. Thus adding to the sense that the country was nearing a political breaking point. We'll win. Farmers of long and democratic, large in opposition to the Republican policy of supporting protectionism, which made it more difficult to export their own goods. While many of them have drifted to the AFP, progressives, old Democrats, and even socialists, undoing Hoover's tariff policy, while undercut the radicals while aiding farmers. And who up for Alaska? If you want to know that, please go right ahead. There you go. Also, we sent volunteers to this Chinese nation here just because we could, and I want to get some air XP and army XP, so that's pretty much why. I like attacking the lines a whole bunch, so I'm kind of okay with it. Smell the buzz leading as a general, but it's fine. It's not good. Oh, they don't get encircled here. You guys actually win here? Us getting encircled would be a very bad thing. Of course, we find some Japanese divisions as well. Well, I, I only threw put cast up here, so not bad, not bad. Can you actually get a win here as well? Maybe. Smash some radicals. A deflation for the a Far Eastern Republic of Transmir. Uh, they asked us a sense foreign delegation asking for official recognition of our state as legitimate Russian government. The regime is a self-proclaimed supreme rule of Russia may seem ridiculous to us, but we feel free to oppose the Russian government in Petrograd and Moscow. We can formally recognize the Far Eastern Republic uh, independence. Yeah. It's because we have the Russian state there to live with the boss, so yeah. Not bad over here. Some radar coordination. Maybe that one too. Rural investments? Well, generally opposed to high levels of government intervention and the economy, supporting the rural economy is a no brainer. The governments will purchase goods from struggling farmers and grant state funding that will be used to transport or use to support developing rural regions via the introduction or modernization of electricity. Director's boys. It's kind of cool. Got this request. Cool. Is there a reminder? Oh, we, we basically won, yeah. Garner. Military action prepared. Our military is prepared to defend the Republic from the radicals. The only question now is where to use it. And the radicals suggest using the bulk of the military to occupy the syndicalist occupied territory. Is that still striking? While well, the cabinet would like to spread out the force more and occupy all the. Three radical factions. George Marshall, however, will split the difference. Placing most of the military in the steel belt while using counter espionage in the other territories to prevent an immediate revolt. Though he warns this will only be all his time, as they are likely already announcing a revolt against the president's hard line and out of fear that the guard will come after them once the SBA is finished. So, follow Marshall's plan. Alright, and do these directors, boys. Oh, and investigate DC Stevenson. Well, hopefully we can do this one. If not, we gotta go this one pretty quickly, too. 
undermine the populace next. We know how to allow populist factions to continue to undermine the Democratic Party. We'll campaign throughout the region where they are most popular, spread counter propaganda, and promise tax cuts whenever possible. Of course, we should decide which faction deserves our attention most, if not all of them. Resistance rising in Illinois. Forces have managed to break, uh, force back the radical SPA activists and riders on Steel Belt, but the occupation has become increasingly difficult as the Red militants organize against us and go beyond merely taking pot shots at our soldiers. The cab is pushing us to retreat to protect Washington before the SPA grow force, forces grow too powerful, but MacArthur, MacArthur and Eisenhower claim that they can hold the territory of giving them reinforcements. Fall back, give them what they need. Nice. Uh, I don't think they have an airbase here. Yeah. I thought Northern India and all of them over there too. Two hundred forty, nice. All right, so let's this one hundred, one hundred. Uh, you guys and some more casts. Nice. That should go very well for us. The director's boys. J. Edgar Hoover is both ruthless head of the recently formed Federal Bureau of Investigation and an invaluable asset against militias, and for next endangering the liberty in the U.S. of A. He has offered numerous times to further investigate dangerous extremists if given their sources and direction. There we go. All I care about you is you holding the line. Nah, it's doing a hefty amount of damage. Very good, very, very, very good. Uh, 15%, 15, 11, huh? Cool. You head on over here. Them direct the boys. And investigate DC Stevenson. Well, three initial kind of focus is nice, cool. And after this stuff, we'll do rural investments. Nice. More cast goodness. Dealing with the steel bill. The SBS attack slowed with an increase of troops damaging their efforts and leading to counterattacks on the militia headquarters under MacArthur and Eisenhower. But, while their militias have, weakened the government, have been weakened and the government has gained legitimacy in the eyes of the citizens of the steel belt, the workers have not yet won over, been, been won over to our side, with many still refusing to work even if they are not right, S, outright SBA members. Hardliners such as Alvin M. Owsley and Harry F. Byrd have been encouraged by recent success and are pushing to force a finished job of cracking down on the unrest of the strikers and unions so that the industry may hire new workers and then, or they learn to not engage in such behavior. However, Vice President Al Smith and other cabinet members are pushing for us to cut a deal with industry leaders to raise wages in return for protection for the militias. Knowing that most of these workers are not natural militants and they were treated fairly, and SPS support can, go, can be uncut in the process. Intensify occupation. <laughs> negotiate. Ne negotiate with companies. J. Edgar Hoover, proposal. J. Edgar Hoover, director of the FBI, right to the White House early today to grimly inform President John Ansgar that the Civil War is imminent. The best chance for the federal government, he says, is to take decisive action out before the AFP, SBA, and ODP can become even more organized. Prosecution of Huey Long means the collapse of the AFP. I stand around his personality. Prosecution Bill Bill Haywood, meanwhile, will throw the SBA into disarray while the IWW and AFL compete for leadership at least long enough for the immediate danger to pass. Putting William Murray in prison will certainly create doubt among the supporters and perhaps end the ODP threat entirely, but 
There's also reasons to pursue DC Stevenson or Earl Browder. Those powerful members of their respective factions, but still important figures we can find something on. Those will delegitimize the faction we decide to go after, but it may not be enough to end the crisis. But if the FBI is act, Hoover says they must act now if there's only time for one operation. So we got that one. We did this one. We need to do all three initial economy focuses. And when the strike spreads, we did that one. Negotiate with them. Save your America? Cool. I'll steer you through this one. We've made the necessary investments to damage support for the radicals amongst the backbone of our democracy. Farmers and sharecroppers, however. We must now cut back on the budget and show businesses that this is a fiscally responsible nation they can invest in if we are to avoid both of the debt that radicals can use against us and aid the economic recovery through the nation, but what's a slash? Austerity measures, oh boy. That's gonna weak hurts gonna weaker the stability. Oh shnikes. Let's see if we can save America. Go, Leslie, my boy, go. I love getting involved in other people's uh, affairs. Over dirt. Our investigation team has uncovered important evidence. Jacob Hoover has alerted us that his evidence of the Indiana clan leader, D.C. Stevenson's corruption, which includes. Uh, him and his circle engaging in alcohol, drugs, and intimidation relations with minors, sexual assault, and mur murder. While it's unclear why Hoover kept this information to himself, he may have been hedging his best to use this information as a bargaining chip, despite John Nance Gardner's disgust with Hoover for not pursuing this earlier. It's obvious that the publishing of this and bringing Stevenson to court could discredit the clan. Arrest Stevenson. Nice. Oh, she abdicates, huh? Well, so be it. Just trying to save America here. Banish civil war. And how many boys can we send now? 300. Oh, good God. Um, I want 100 planes and then gas and gas. We should be there very soon. Research the Democratic Party to remove the Invisible Empire? Yes, please. The Democratic Party suffered much from the rise of the numerous third parties attempting to steal its voter base, but the U.S. can only be under can only be stable under a two-party system. We'll use a reestablished presence to bring old supporters back into the traditional democratic mold, hoping to finish off a AFP and the old democrats from the national importance. That'd be great. Just for the love of God, do not get encircled. Love attacking us. You guys actually win here, maybe? Maybe. We'll see. Should not improve cruiser holes. We need more chromium. Negative 98. Holy crap. MacArthur's request. MacArthur seems to be effectively waging war against the radicals, but has been desperately calling for additional aid. Seemingly taking the government's black willingness to expand the military is a sign of weakness. Perhaps he does need some extra hands on deck if he helps to maintain order. Not bad. Austerity Bill. President Garner is introduced. 
Uh, on an emergency austerity measure, bills in the Congress today, and almost certainly the controversial piece of legislation which would see government spending cuts uh, across the board, especially towards non army based military spending and federal spending and construction projects. Gardner's speech to the Senate spoke of the sacrifices needed if Americans to recover from the Great Depression and attempted to boost the market confidence by stating that the cut was partially due to the belief of this cabinet. The depression was already coming to an end, and that was met with mostly skepticism and jeers from the radical senators. Even Garner's own cabinet expressed reservations regarding his choice, suggesting a passage of the bill might prove difficult, though. If it can't be managed, we would almost certainly save the country by reinvigorating the private investor and confidence in the nation. Believe in America. For God, who, if we don't, who will? With the businesses in the steel belt agreeing to pay workers more and the army continuing to push back the red militias and increasing number of workers are viewing the federal government as a more stable source of protection and income than the SPA. With it becoming clear that the outright revolt will not succeed, many SPA congressional leaders are listening to their more moderate wing, calling for calmness and an end hostility, saying that better conditions can still be negotiated for through Congress. Have we saved America? Savior of America. Beautiful. Are we still bleeding Texas? I'll say measures. Good God. Further. Oh, Jesus. Nice. Stability returns to the U.S. of A. Beautiful. The United States of America has been in the worsening political cross for years. Now, not anymore, though. President John Ann's Gardner, God bless his soul. Seeing the situation, been able to deal with the syndicalists of the Socialist Party, populists of the American First Party, and the nativists of the Old Democratic Party. This expert political maneuvering has saved millions of lives, both those who are living and those who have yet to be born. Annihilation has been avoided, my friends, and we have the beacon of democracy. Democracy saved, now it's time for the right for party to rule. And I do want to go through all this stuff before we keep going. Oh my gosh. Move all the stuff. Sovereignty of the legislature. Beautiful. And I'm really trying to rush through a lot of the naval stuff we have here, so. As you can probably tell. Long denounces austerity measures. As discussions begin at Capitol Hill regarding the austerity bill, the AFP immediately denounced it. Huey Long said in a Louisiana speech that austerity did the exact opposite of what was necessary. I remember this. Please go ahead. Rather than sharing the wealth, they took every last bit of wealth from those who needed it the most. Austerity claims would leave the average American more desperately poor than they are now, and leave them vulnerable to cynicalist and reactionary rhetoric. Uh, Long City would be directing the AFP to dispose or oppose the bill at every turn for the sake of the country. Oh boy. Dutch revolutions? Oh boy. Ah. Happy 1937, everybody. Get some more construction stuff like that. There you go. Very nice. Oh, okay. We've been encircled there. But we ain't encircled yet. No, sir. John Nan's Ghana, the savior of America. And our hero in this campaign. Even though here's a stability of the strict austerist adherent. Yeah, that sucks. Oh, uh, sure, guys. A blow for liberty. There have been increasingly loud calls for prohibition in recent years, and in fact, many states and smaller districts have enacted dry laws that damage the liquor business. Our state needs funding and the rights to outcast fundamental freedom. Let us guide uh, <clears throat> a reinvigorated Democratic Party towards wet laws that will make a mockery of the prohibition authoritarians and bring in a valuable source of income and business. Ah, so it goes back up. That's good. Very good. Very nice and go there, be very good too. Oh boy. Help him out, help him out. There's so many factories that we, at this point we might as well just make some millies too. America without having a civil war is very strong. Which as we know for vanilla is very strong, but still. Um, I think that's 100%. Oh, I can do southern Jersey. You can do one, do t let's do three. This part of Colorado for some reason has so much... Infrastructure in there too. Yeah. Yeah, 
Everyone hates Bulgaria. I'm trying to help them out so much, man. We're going to take Bucharest right now. Would that end the war against Romania? Probably not. Oh, but the Ottomans are just flooding in. There's nothing you can do about that. I tried, Bulgaria. I tried. Finish anarchism? That's kind of cool. The syndicalist cause has been greatly weakened and momentarily unable to raise a large enough militia to challenge U.S. Army. Nonetheless, it remains a threat if a snake waiting for the chance to strike. Nice. Don't get yourselves encircled here. You wonder that? Please go ahead. Nice. That's sad. But you were doing so well. So much promise. You want to do that? Please go ahead too. Thank you. And Sophie has been taken. It's pretty much over. Well, that sucks, bro. My army XP. Actually, Crimea exists. How do you get Crimea? Sultan. Market liberals. Because they have unique books. You know, I think that's really cool. I like having unique. Uh, Crimea. I think it's very neat. A blow for liberty, though. Not a bad amount of political power, though. Supply wise, pretty bad because you know I'm not connected here. Actually, your forces are back. That's good. Uh, I'll probably go with Spirit of Firepower, because why not? We're America. Now, oh, sovereignty of the legislature. Enough. America has been saved from the radicals. It is now time for Garner to set a president, to divorce an executive and legislative branch from one another. Many of the executive powers Wilson gave to the presidency, including using government power to shape public opinion, investigating lawmakers, will be revoked. A hands off approach shall be taken to both Congress and the Democratic Party. Nice. He single handedly saves the economy. That's what I like in my presidents. Get Madrid, get Madrid. Even though they took this, we can still kill them off. This way they suffer from attrition as well. Um, anything here? Oh. Not yet there. Artillery. Alright, offense. Good, encircle them. Dwar artillery is very good as well. This, thank you. Very nice. Beautiful. Followed up with what? Count of the clan, center holds. Well, we'll do that route someday. Not yet, but someday. I promise you that. Well, now what? Mexican repatriation. Quota adjustments. Immigration act reformed. Well, we are socially conservative, like you think, right? Yeah, socially conservative. So, immigration. This one doesn't make any sense for us to do. Mexican repatriation. Mexicans come here to work on our farms, and that's what, and that is what they must do. They must not be allowed to settle here as citizens of a country, however, they, when they are no longer useful in this regard, they should be sent back to the country. 
they will be able to take the money they made back to the families, and our people will be separate from theirs as they should be. All right then. You gonna do that? Please go ahead. If you vote with care, I'm probably gonna ignore the voting. Oh. Well, if you're with this, please go ahead. Nice. Very nice, actually. Mexican repatriation. Nothing like it. Ah, you guys are over here. Okay, that makes sense. Look over here. Go passes, whatever. All right. And sixty-nine. Come on. There you go. Not bad. Help him out. Can you help him out? The merge the Congress of the Socialist Party of America. Well, maybe I should have read the other one. But, whatever. The name of the end of the Emergency Party Congress, called by the leadership of America's far left, following the death of the longtime leader, William Haywood. A Congress is a simple enough affair, with delegates from across the nation and even representatives from both the Union of Britain, the Communist of France, and in attendance. As with most party congresses, the elevation of factional differences came all too early, though, unlike most congresses, these factions were broadly split into two camps. The first and largest of these factions mostly belonged to the ranks of the AFL CIO and the few progressives in attendance, called for a drastic change in policy. Instead of advocating and working directly for revolution, these delegates fought for the change of reformism, working within the system to argue like capitalism or form it. This faction argued that by pointing argued the point by stating the obvious. The situation in America was much different than in nineteen thirty six. By and large, people save for the most ardent revolutionaries had calm and a sense of national brotherhood and normality have been restored. If the party truly wishes to see socialism, they must work with this new era and drop the most overt calls for revolution. A second, smaller faction made up of the CSA, Phosphorus, and the remnants of the CPUSA are directed to the call for reformism outright, naming those who supported it counter revolutionaries. The faction simply called for the maintenance of the status quo, with some of the more radical members calling for a sudden uprising against the old order. As the Congress went on, it was clear that the reformists had it in the bag, thus, the SBA's party program was officially changed, with all usage of revolutionary language being dropped in favor of a more reformist tone. As for the new chairman, John Jack Reed was elected, seemingly as a compromise candidate. John Reed is something of a pariah with the American left. He is constant flip flopping between supporting Leninist communism or communist, communist style syndicalism. Or his failed career as a journalist, it seems that the only reason Reed was elected was due to his long term association with the revolutionary faction within the SBA's coalition, regardless of this reason. The American left has a new face and a new program to boot. At least they aren't a real threat to anyone. Who would vote for a cuckold? Who would vote for a cuckold? Well, you gotta ask. Never mind. Also, since we can do this too, since we saved America, there's a lot of resources in America, huh? Build up in that there Midwest and the coast too. Eventually, we want to get a lot of dockyards for a massive navy. Cool. We already have 350 factories, so I mean, I don't think too many people can really oppose us too much. But you never know against Mexicans or the Canadians. Cool. Keep working on uh, Millie's as well. That'd be good. Legislative freedoms? Sure, why not? We get more stability. Haiti seeks debt refinancing, says ravages the Black Mondays, and the Great Depression to wreak havoc on our own economy and the economies of our neighbors. Many pleas for financial aid would reach our shores. Among the more interesting proposals come in from Porto Prince, where the reigning Borno administration has ruled Haiti for decades with American backing. The vast that we would be willing to sit down and renegotiate the long standing debt to our government, seek more agreeable terms and less extreme interest rates as they seek to further rebuild their fledgling economy. Though we do not officially reign in Haiti anymore, with the occupation ending in 35, the financial strength could still prove beneficial to our state and our lingering business and military interests left on Hispaniola. How should we respond? Sure, why not? Alright, so with that in mind... Oh, we're down here. Speaking of democracy, and Democrats elected. The Democratic Party won the 1930 elections, despite losing some of the more radical members of the ODP and AFP. They're still a very socially conservative party, although they are more fiscally moderate. Social gospel. That's not bad. Time welfare reforms requirements. Business support. 
Public school? Oh, yes. Public schooling support. Public schools must be adequate to fund. They did more importantly, they must have the correct curriculum. Teaching your children the very important freedom, democracy, and liberty, as well as the evils of radicalism and cynicalism is key to build the future of our country. Yeah, pretty much, man. Pretty much. Pretty much. Alright, so keep building ourselves up. We have a massive military by the time we're done here. And a lot of rubber. You want to do about that? Please go right ahead. I think I read this one, but maybe not. Well, in a celebration party at her home following her husband's elevation to chairman of the Socialist Party of America, Louise Bryan, in a drunken spiel to report that she was with claims. I would have been having an affair with at least 10 of the most influential cynicalist intellectuals of our time. In great detail, Bryan uh, spoke of her treaties, trysts with Eugene O'Neill, Andrew Dasburg, William C. Bullitt, Jr., Al Capone, Eugene Debs, Alexander Berkman, and Emma Goldman together. Norman Thomas and during the Russian Civil War, Levent Beria, Leon Trotsk, and even Gregory Zukov. Attempts to reach out to these individuals have been met with the silence thus far. Critics of Reed, from both within and without the Socialist Party, uh, have used this as a proof as a long rumored status of Reed as a cuckold. Those critics within the Socialist Party say this is proof of Reed's slide into bourgeois tendencies, while those on the right use as evidence of the degeneracy that falls in the wake of socialism. Either way, Reed's already weak public image has been completely shattered, even further reducing his, his and the Socialist Party's likelihood of ever winning any election again. How embarrassing! Crap, no, I can't do that. Formation of whack. As proposed by the Congress, created a committee dedicated to dealing with subversive elements within our society, those who fought against the government. This committee shall be known as the America, House of Un American Activities Committee and be dedicated to standing on traitors to America. However, some within the government question its reach in regards to being a constitution. What should Congress do? Form the committee. We lose some stability, but we get a lot more pee pee. And that's what we like a lot of pee pee. A lot of thick pee pee. Three uh, military factors at all times at this point. Um, Red Flood, remember that? Please go ahead. Boom, boom, boom. Thank you. Oh, I can't get that one yet. Crap. Hmm. Cass, why not? Nice. Boulder Dam complete this morning. I came, a sonic was conquered. As everyone who would be was seized for the first time, this great feat of mankind ten years ago. The place where we gathered was a sparse, forbidding desert. In the bottom of a gloomy canyon, whose precipitous walls rose to a height of more than a thousand feet, flooded a turbulent, dangerous river. The mountains on either side of the canyon were difficult with access with neither road nor trail, and the rocks were protected by neither trees nor grass from the blazing heat of the sun. The site uh, of Boulder City was a cactus covered waste. The transformation right here in the desert is a 20th century marvel. Thus begins the present speech dedicating the creation of Boulder Dam that's finally been completed today. On behalf of the nation to say to you, well done. Absolutely. Mexican resistance. Mexican foreigners and their sense who are being forcibly deported from our borders are predictably enraged. With many protesting our recent efforts and some even joined radical organizations. Nevertheless, we have largely succeeded in our goals and the Mexican population has radically fallen and both nativists and those concerned about syndicalist influence are thankful for it. Very well. Patriotic shorts. The population notably short on both entertainment and patriotism in these trying times, we should use the recent growth of cinema to promote patriotism. We all shall hire animators, particularly the Disney Corporation, to come with the patriotic short film and clips especially directed to families to reassure them what we're fighting for. What are we fighting? States' rights. Oh, we give way more st weekly stability. I'll support businesses. While the unchecked capital successes of the Republican Party are a step too far, we must still ensure the business have the proper po support from the government, and the cynical regulations are a key step in this path. We have a lot of pee, pee And we love it. Less organization more organization and less flex is always good to do. I like more attack too though, but plus five percent attack and more speed, but this guy just gives you more flat attack. Commando doctrine. This is like more like a grand battle plan commando playing stuff out. Guns of butter. I'll go with that one. Let me go down this way. The bet's gone, eh? Oh crap, they're really attacking in the north, aren't they? They're really attacking all over the place, aren't they? Oh boy. But folks, not bad. So, you know, the crap ton of stuff, though. Get more fighters, get more stuff, get more of everything, pretty much. 
Go on now, lose. And re or at least retreat. Don't lose, but, like, you know, just retreat. Got an okay amount of artillery. Get more divisions now, finally. Nice. And that cruiser's very good. Business grants? It's not bad. Strength is state of time, though. The federal government cannot be expected to administrate everything. Uh, indeed, the lack of states' rights in favor of them in inept and central governments the central of the collapse of the United States. Relief programs, taxation, and other administrative duties will be further devolved to the states. Good, good, good. Maybe use some tanks. Maybe use some serious tanks. Even though we did go spirit firepower, whatever. Tanks shan't be bad. Go here, 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 maybe. Propaganda, why not? You are finding why not? Because we got five research slots, that's why. You ding dongs, how about you actually support your area here? Yeah, maybe by the time war breaks out, we'll have all this stuff done. All our doctrines except for land doctrine. Oh, uh, that's not bad, too. Business grants? Why not? Large businesses also suffer the Civil War, just like smaller businesses. We need government intervention to be fully uh, restore their pre war profitability. Not bad. Not bad. Bureau of the Budget? Yeah, that's not bad, too. Salamanca? Nice. Now we're doing the land. Na not land, but naval adoption. Beautiful. I told you you're not allowed to lose. Entente support. Self regulation. Hayes code. As much as I want to keep going down that way. Federal ban on race mixing. Pronounce race hatred. Hmm. We want a Negro Bureau? Well, we can't do that one. Conditional blockade. Jazz crackdown. Turn a blind eye. Oppose radicals. Well, I'll let you guys decide. We're definitely not gonna. We're probably not gonna do this one. Yeah, you know what? Should we do conditional blockade or should we do jazz crackdown? Should we turn a blind eye or should we oppose the radicals? Let me know what you guys think. Hire black Americans. New lily white movement. So I'll let you guys choose which way we should go. Calm radical conservatives. I'm thinking this one wouldn't be too bad. Fun local segregation. That might be a bit too much for us. Even though that does give us a lot of benefits. Segregation gives us a lot of benefits. I'm thinking we'll calm radical conservatives. Well, I'll let you guys figure out which way should we go. Jazz crackdown, conditional blockade. You guys figure it out. I'll let you guys decide. Air Force debate, which I usually wait to do. Uh, Army reform debate. Question of the hour, which direction of the U.S. Army to take and not only response, but into, to piss it, and then, uh, anticipate a prolonged land war. The opinion of MacArthur is a given. Already having prepared for this conflict within his inner circle. I wish I had to remove some of these focuses. Okay, we don't need to see all these for now. Slovenia's gone. Who? Well, I didn't want. We did go a grand battle plan, so we'll probably go this way. Yeah. Leslie McNair's reform plan. McNair proposed refining the inherent advantage that the U.S. Army has in delivering a mass quantity of support to infantry attacks. It requires intensive employment, increasing the war industries. Six old divisions gonna be wiped out here? Oh, yes, please. Aviation? 
Well, we did go with carrier strikes, even though we're not making any carriers yet, which we should probably do. Eh, we'll do that one right now. Carrier design cost. Repairing repeating refitting speed. Start examining the boards. Good. Shock and all. Don't really have to go through this wave right now, though. As we're going down that way, let's go through here some more, maybe some more. Yeah, wait on that stuff. Business grants. Larger businesses also suffer the civil war, and just like smaller businesses, need government intervention to fully restore the people or profitability, like we said before. Yes, please. Yes, sir. Carol Spain ain't looking so good. I found some Irish people. How are we doing over here on the right side? Doing okay? Nice. Power wise, thank you though. Just a crap ton of civvies. Nice. Then double ACP and FBI to fame socialists. During the 30s, a large part of the NAACP's activities were taken up by a litigation in favor of African American voting rights. Or just rights. That was due to retreating the strength of the black vote and the diminishing, the ability, diminishing ability of the African Americans to reach uh, office after Plessy v. Ferguson. Savage was also pursued by the Syndicalist Alliance International Labor Defense, who counted the NAACP for a decade in a competition for the hearts of the black voters. So you know uh, their option, being unwilling to have a compromise with socialists. NAACP leader Walter Francis White. Huh, Walter White. I decided to cooperate with the FBI in an anti socialist public relations campaign. Whether this truly motivates the civil rights or further dis dilutes the current remains to be seen. I'm no judge. But I'm going to judge you anyways. Oh, I sent divisions down here, didn't I? No, oh, whatever. War Department relocates to the main Navy and... Munitions building, don't worry about this, please go ahead. Nice. Stay trats. Right, we should get more weekly stability ish. Weekly change plus point eight, yep. I guess you're still fighting up here, huh? Well, you might as well just do that then. Mega business is business. American industry is the backbone of a country. While the ravages of the Civil War destroyed much of our once prosperous commercial sector, with the proper amount of government action, you can be brought back into prominence. Which is truly a great thing. God dang, we get a lot of air XP, I love it. We're gonna read about McNair's report on the state of the military or the army, please guard ahead. We got a form of we wish to prevail. Beating grants. Oh, with a policy focus on a pro business agenda, multiple lobbying groups have come forward to request grants. The Maritime Commission wants the grants to go primarily to local shipyards, especially new LA-based California Shipbuilding Corporation. 
And then Kaiser Shipyards is hoping to you know, increase trade in ships for national defense. However, the small business league is far more popular support, requesting support to help them produce consumer goods and jobs. Finally, there's the motor industry, especially suffering motor land, motor truck company, whom desire California far more land automobiles. With a balanced budget policy, only, well, only one can get it, but who? Shipyards? Small businesses. Shipyards. Seems like the most logical choice to me. Here's the later reactor. Bye. Patriotic shorts. Sure. Yeah. If you want to read that again, please go ahead. Please, 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 please. And then we're going to do what? Oh, while hungry, got all the way to ocean access. But they didn't get the port of the Dar. Sucks to be you. I'm going to help these guys out too. One two hundred, we got enough of that. Fighter, fighter. Wheel. There you go first. It ain't cast, but it'll have to do it for now. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I'll go and bring them over for now. Division with big business support. It's known by most Democrats that economic reform is necessary to preserve American integrity and do the same. Democrats differ on the agency the government must take towards the existing industries that are ailing. A proposed civil works program to electrify the Southwest using hydroelectric power headed snag because Democrats cannot agree on the role of public works in the marketplace. The works will be able to undercut private electricity companies because they'll be able to cross state borders and build dams on public land. Conservative Democrats, though, argue that it will oppose such intrusions as these, saying that it violates states' rights to govern trade. More liberal minded Democrats hold fast to the necessity and potential of public works outweigh the risks. Conservative Democrats way up for now. Or went out. You want to do that? Please go ahead. God save us all. Nice. Well, maybe not so nice. But whatever. Ah, good. Time welfare requirements. Local and state welfare have been expanding since the late 20s, but their resources are famously short as of now. Which coordinated with local government and businesses make local forms of welfare such as food and cash relief more exclusive to widowed mothers, and time local wealth workers' compensation focus on the truly disabled. Well, we're doing a smidgen of damage here. How would you guys go over there, actually? Help, us, help bomb the living crap out of them if you can. I should really help us out. Bohemian Revolution, huh? Three hundred planes, huh? See what you can do. We are going to need a uh, base. Brave commanders. Oh, usually in the vanilla, this is a penalty to that, so. Whether surprise attacks, retreat chance, effective communication, positioning, night fighting, close combat. Um, brave commanders. Uh, I kind of like efficient communications. Because you have to be efficient communicators to make sure everyone can hear each other, right? Victor Book Campaign it sounds a new recruits flood in the training camps across the country. Community librarians are recognized as an opportunity to lend their uh, support to the government. Individual libraries sponsor book drops and donate to the local military bases. 
In the last few months, members of the American Library Association met to discuss a plan for the coordinated nationwide drive to supply the troops with free books. The ALA have presented their idea to the United States or the United Service organizations in the Red Cross. They have received their idea enthusiastically and begun setting up more than 400 recreational clubs on the outskirts of military camps. The Red Cross wants books, wanted books to send to military hospitals. Remote camps with no libraries, overseas clubs, and prisoners of war. The two organizations decided to split the project's funding with the ALA providing technical know-how and began both campaign for government's approval. While our military is reluctant of accepting donated books, there's real need for entertainment for soldiers in the field, and the Army High Command decided to give its approval to the project. Let's hope our soldiers enjoy it. That is a good thing. Jesus Christ, that's a Pennsylvania Railroad's really good. 10, 10, 15, 10. Robert Dollar. Washington Ironworks. Bethlehem feels what I usually choose. Uh, ooh, 10%, 10%, 15%, 15 Oh, we gotta go with US Railways. That's that's the best one out of all these. Right? Yeah. Lever and Acta. New Hampshire Senator Stiles Bridges has, with assistance from New Jersey Representative Jay Parnell Thomas, written a new oath for all states' employees, including teachers, to take in whatever they, what, in which they disavow radicalism, particularly cynicalism. Those who violate or refuse to take the oath can remove from government positions where they may have caused considerable damage. Nice. Oh, we got plenty of guns now. Artie's not too bad too. A little bit more already wouldn't hurt, right? How are we doing up here? How much are we bombing living crap out of them? Not enough. Bomb their air bases. Okay. Nice. Very nice. Happy nineteen thirty nine, everybody. We're doing the best we can. We're sending air support all over the nations. Oh, they're actually pushing in a little bit now. We're gonna blow up their airbase a little bit, maybe? No? Maybe not, we'll see. Maybe not. Welfare reforms. Finally, the political capital of revamped state and local level welfare, which has encouraged poor, encouraging poor behavior. Seeing a small expansion on the state level in the witches Palmer and Wilson years, the welfare system currently offers a small amount of welfare to those living under the poverty level without employment, especially single mothers. We could work, require work to be a necessary component of receiving welfare, simply make it exclusive to the mothers. These reforms encourage uh, stronger work ethics in the populace while uh, reserving the needed funds for those whom we need the most. Exclusive, sure, why not? Zanzibar. Not Jimmy, no. Education for death, cynical's madness. A new Disney film is in the theaters that is damaging the reputation of cynicalism while supporting our own government. The film presents an extremely negative view of uh, cynicalism, or the CSA, presenting themselves as failing the health of youth with revolutionary ideals, but not before making sure that no process of parenting is reactionary. After teaching children about the evils of capitalism, they are sent out to fight in a war at an extremely young age. It uses little more than cannon fodder for the cynicalist cause. Presenting cynicalism as conflict oriented and militant is praised by critics despite the CSA describing it as lies. Show in schools? Oh, heck yeah. And we'll do increased defense spending. After the recent civil war, it's clear that we must support the military should a civil event take place someday. We must also guard a weakened country from opportunistic vultures in the pursuit of uh, these goals, let's invest in radar technology as well as updated forms of artillery for our military. Moral education. 
Higher education has always been a bastion of the elite, and should keep, be kept that way. Procedure halls of the Ivy League schools are a place for those unprepared, or those not prepared. They should be reserved for the future leaders of America so they can receive the best education possible. On town support. A few entities left that are loyal to both tradition and democracy, but one of them is the anti-syndicalist on town. The Democratic Party's li business, liberal and Catholic wings, are desired closer to ties, closer to ties with them, and so that their, their and our struggles are one and the same. Most requests support these joint towns and expand the National Guard. A strong military is more important than ever to survive in a present situation. We should allow the older, more established National Guard to defend us, sending our recently acquired business-friendly funds and give them permission to initiate a new round of drafts in family law. The strongest society requires a strong society. Uh, but sadly, too many socially irresponsible citizens ignore this. The family law requires each state to enforce child support, requiring fathers with an income to contribute to the family, even in the case of a divorce, and likewise requires wealthy sons to provide for their elder parents if they fall into poverty. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description, and I'll see you tomorrow as we continue involving yourselves in other people's affairs. Thanks for watching. Have a great John Nance Garner, Cactus Jack, rest of your day.